the future of fashion. Dreamweavers. Hi guys, and welcome to a new episode on the channel. Today we will talk about Dreamweavers with a few biology lessons. And good news, there's a lot of science in it. So let's get started. Now, who are these Dreamweavers? Well, if you are a big fan of Spider-Man, you might already know who it is. Spider-Man. Incorrect! It is spiders! And it is related to Spider-Man, but it is spiders! And we're talking about James here! Jinx. Du, 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 du. Anyways, we're talking about genes here, and yes, we will be talking about genes. But these Dreamweavers happen to be a bit more complex than we might think. You might want to think that it is not complex at all, that it's really easy to understand. But you know that it's wrong. Let's say there's still a lot we don't know about these Dreamweavers yet. But, as we, but we do know these things though, that their silk is five times stronger than steel and that they're useful in fabric making. They're five times stronger than steel, but they are light. That is like five times like the equivalent of a five times stronger than steel steel. If you know what I mean, that is. And that is actually how it worked. But now let's get you a few examples of how we actually get this thing. Well, there are loads of ways we actually get them, and you might think that the obvious way is to actually form spiders. Put them all together, and boom, shaka shaka, you get a f spider factory. Whatever, it's more complicated than that. If spiders are together, their genetic rules say that whenever there are different spiders together, especially the same, especially the same sex, they start attacking each other. It's inside their genetic code. So what's another way to get the silk? Well, some people actually decided to put the genetics of the of the spider protein making device inside goats, and then inside the mare milk, goat milk, they found the same protein inside spider silk, and they used that protein from the milk. They did not drink that milk, by the way, to make these stuff. So that was how, that's probably the easiest and the most obvious way to actually answer it, right? Well, yes, but also wrong. Why? There's still a lot that we, as I said earlier, there's still a lot that we don't know. It's the staircase that we have to follow. The rules are inside the staircase. As we figure out, as we know more about genetics, there's a lot of stuff coming out inside other episodes. If you, I'm gonna upload a few videos on genetics later in future videos. That I'm not, it's not sure yet that if I will upload them, but, but there is a possibility that I might upload some on genetics. But as we progress into our world, if you will watch those episodes in the future, then I hope you will get a basic understanding of what's inside this one. So, this is where I should end this episode for now. If you want to learn more about smart fabrics, please just like, share, and subscribe to this channel, or just Google them, simply just Google them on Google. This is where I'll end this episode, and I'll see you in the next episode. Shunhan out. Peace. Teens!